Hello friends, today I will discuss about tan delta test of equipment in a substation. Before going through this video, you are requested to please go through my channel and do subscribe my channel and also press the bell button for notification for future video to be uploaded. An insulator can be considered as a capacitance. In ideal case, uh, the capacitance current IC uh, leading the voltage E by 90 degree, phi is equal to 90 degree for ideal insulation. But in practical, there is no ideal uh, insulation. There exists some leakage current IR that, uh, that is in phase with the vo applied voltage E. But in practical case, the power factor angle phi is not 90 degree, uh, rather it is less than 90 degree. The pra practical diagram has been shown in this figure. In this figure, IR is the resistive component of current, I is the resultant current and phi is the power factor angle. In this figure, delta angle is called dielectric loss angle. The more the insulator uh, deteriorate, the more the angle delta becomes. Now from this vector diagram we can see that power factor is equal to cos phi equal to IR by I that is the ratio of resistive component of current to the resultant current. Dissipation factor tan delta equal to ratio of the resistive component of current to the capacitive component of the current. More the resistive component of current more the tan delta value. Now we, if you solve the equation then the power factor comes equal to distortion uh, dissipation factor by root over 1 plus dissipation factor square it is the relation between power factor and dissipation factor now in this diagram a example has been shown for good and bad insulation in case of good insulation in by when the applied voltage increases the tan delta values of the insulation remain more or less same but in case of bad insulation with the increase of applied voltage the tan delta value increase basically two modes of for testing of tan delta gst that is grounded specimen test and ust that is ungrounded specimen test gst that is grounded specimen test the grounded specimen test is referred to as the measurement of a insulation sample that has one of its terminal grounded or earth. To conduct a test in GST mode, the measuring circuit of the instrument used must be ungrounded to make the measurement possible. In case of uh, CT, Bushing and PT that, is, that has a um, tan delta point which is normally at grounded or earth. To test this equipment in substation, the tan delta point is removed from the earth and then the two electrode, one is you know, one electrode is connected to the HB side and the another is connected to the tan delta point and then the test is performed. Ungrounded specimen test or UST. The ungrounded specimen test is referred to as the test of an insulation sample that is not grounded. This test configuration automatically provides a guard connection that can be used effectively to measure only one component out of multi-component insulation system. The UST is of a great advantage at it. its guard connection is also ground. This means that anything that is grounded in a UST measurement is automatically excluded from the measurement. For example, the transformer HB to LB winding insulation is made in UST mode. Why tan delta test is important? It is always said that preventive maintenance is better than breakdown. In case of breakdown, there, there is outage. But in case of preventive maintenance, we can change the equipment uh, with plant shutdown. With the time span, the insulator of a equipment um, going to deteriorate uh, uh, by existing a void in the insulator, tan delta test is one of the diagnostic measure to avoid outage of the equipment by replacing the same before the outages. The tan delta 
is a direct indication for power dissipated through the insulation is a very important measure for quality of insulation. Variation of tan delta with applied voltage give clear indication of presence of any impurities or imperfection or void in insulating material and serves as an early indication for failure hazard. That is, the equipment should be replaced as soon as possible. Now, what are the steps for measurement of tan delta in a tube winding transformer? First, we have to disconnect the jumper from HV and LV bushing. Then we have to open the earthing plate from neutral terminal in case of Y connected side of the transformer. Then we have to measure the transformer bushing tan delta in GST mode by connecting one of electrode to HV lead of the face of the uh, and other by connecting to the tan delta point of the bushing and before uh, connecting the tan delta point the tan delta cap should be disconnected from the bushing. Then we have to measure the tan delta for winding by sorting all the HV terminal together and LV terminal together separately. Then we have to measure for tan delta for winding to the HV to earth and to the LV to earth and in between HV to LV. In this figure, the measurement of tan delta for two winding transformer has been shown. Here, the all the HB uh, bushing terminal has been sorted and LB terminal has been sorted. Here CHL is the capacitance between HB and LB winding. CH is the capacitance between HB winding to earth or tank. And CL is the capacitance between LB winding and earth. In UST with guard mode, the CHL that is in capacitance between HB and LB winding is measured. The capacitance between HB winding to earth can be measured with GST card mode. In this, in this diagram, the high voltage lead is connected to the high voltage winding bushing and low voltage uh, winding is connected to the earth and guard terminal is connected to the low voltage winding. Similarly, the capacitance between LB winding to earth can be measured by connecting the high voltage terminal to the uh, LV winding and guard to the HP winding bushing and um, low voltage terminal to the hearth. The test result for a winding transformer uh, capacitance and tan delta has been shown in this table. Here by GST mode HV to hearth and uh, LV to hearth capacitance has been measured. Uh, applied voltage is 10 kV for uh, HV2 earth uh, the capacitance value is 17,260 picofarad and tan delta is 0.315% and LV2 earth is 9,892 picofarad and tan delta is 0.241 and between HV2 LV winding the capacitance and tan delta is measured in US2 mode. The applied voltage is 10 kV and the measured capacitance is 5820 picofarad and tan delta is 0.152 percentage. Before measuring the tan delta test, we have to record the volt temperature. Here, temperature is 32 degree. Boosting, boosting tan delta is measured by in GST mode. For red, HB red phase, Y phase, and B phase boosting boos tan delta and values are 0 0.31, 0 0.29, and 0 0.28 respectively, and capacitance values are 228 picofarad, 222 picofarad, and 225 picofarad respectively. Here, applied voltage is 10 kV and temperature is 32 degree.